Section 1. Setting a Foundation. Going from Horizontal to Vertical. I will never forget hearing a mystic say, quote, Life never stops. It never lets up. It's everywhere, all the time, constantly moving, end quote. Life is not safe because nature is not predictable. And how could it be otherwise? It never has been and it never will be. The wind can push the sailboat just as easily as it will tear it to shreds. Gravity is just as willing to hold planets in orbit as it is to destroy them with a supernova. Fire will keep a house warm with as much vigor as it will burn it down. No sane person could possibly pretend nature is safe. Life and death are ubiquitous. The only appropriate approach is to trust and risk life's unsafeness, its insecurity, just as we must trust our own unlimited potentials. Alan Watts puts it well in his book, The Wisdom of Insecurity. Quote, it must be obvious from the start that there is a contradiction in wanting to be perfectly secure in a universe whose very nature is momentariness and fluidity. End quote. Truth rests right on the edge of what can be handled now, because truth is excruciating and risky. Truth cannot be fully contained in the mind. It can only be known in portions experienced in moments. This is why the now is so important. Nature, what we are and what everything is, cannot be known finally, because nature is past any conceptualizing of it. There is no beginning and no end. Nature simply is. So a complementary option to our situation is to have faith and trust in nature and life as it is, and trust the risk, the insecurity, as Watts would put it, within nature's holism. Holism includes uncomfortable aspects like insecurity, anxiety, fear, and death. All of these must be accorded and transformed into assets to help us understand the impossibility that we are and that everything is. For example, the driver hands his life to the tire rubber holding thousands of pounds of horizontal load and trusts the tire to transform that load into forward motion while he also contributes to the success or failure of the dance. In the same way, the one who wishes to know the truth in life fearlessly participates in transforming horizontal pressure, i.e. insecurity, anxiety, fear, and death, into vertical attitudes of love, compassion, higher consciousness, and deeper awareness. This is the way we take the pains of material life and transmogrify those experiences into rapture, because pain brings an understanding otherwise unavailable. This offers fulfillment in a way that cannot be taught, imagined, or inherited. To come into awareness of what cannot be taught or imagined is the state of rapture, and rapture is the dance which quenches fear and desire. Rapture elucidates what we do not understand and transforms anxiety into laughter. Rapture is not based on belief in anything or assurance of anything. It is coaxed with trust, risk, and participation. This exactly is the awareness Alan Watts was pointing towards. If we resist the endless change and insecurity that life is by attempting to cling to it, we kill any hope for greater awareness.